to my enemy won't catch a vibe for this shit what's up babes and welcome back to another vlog tober this is day seven i'm really starting to lose count here <laughs> this is day seven of vlogtober i'm getting ready to go to the cat williams comedy show i just got out the shower i'm about to do the softest 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 makeup um i'm already a couple of shots in you know your girl but i think i'm gonna wear this tonight for my fragrance of the night pair these two bad babies up i told y'all that my freaking jacket did not come and then this on top i'm super excited um to see cat williams i love him i'm getting myself together i'm kind of in a rush but i wanted to start this vlog um i just got on the charlotte tilbury here and the la girl pro here because like i said i'm not doing too much i'm gonna spray this uh charlotte tilbury airbrush on there and start dabbing it out today was homecoming my daughter got to experience the Alapu Parade for the first time. I cannot wait for her to be a cheerleader. If y'all do not know, I cheered from the time that I was. I think I was two. I started off as like a mascot because my mom's best friend was the cheerleading coach at the time. I, my Aunt Janelle, RIP, that was my girl. But she started off as the... I mean, she was the coach, so I started off as a mascot. And I literally cheered from mascot all the way up until my senior year of high school. Now, one year, I didn't make the team. I don't know what the f that was all about, but I didn't make the team. I was so depressed about it. But, yeah, I love cheering. And I just feel like it's naturally in my girl, so I can't wait. What do I need? contour this is my blush I need to clean up like I swear <clears throat> this is a transparent mommy moment on the journey to being a content creator and you have children and household responsibilities it's kind of so hard to just <sighs> I don't know like I be fighting for my life sometimes, but I still get on camera and present myself as myself. But child, since we going through it, <laughs> but I just feel like I have to because at some point, this will be the very thing that gives my children the childhood and open up doors for myself like i'm gonna be able to do all types of things because of the platform that i'm creating for myself so it be hard some days like some days i really just be like what am i even doing why am i even doing this why am i even doing it like i'm doing it because it's what god wanted me to do otherwise i wouldn't have never wanted to do it to begin with you know that's just how i feel about it it be hard like so hard um i don't even know what i'm looking for <laughs> and i'm rushing and deron talk about please take your time like he want to leave me here that fool want to leave me but i'm about to do my under eyes with my fancy beauty y'all know i love la, 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 la. love this and I done already had a couple of drinks. I hope I don't look absolutely crazy. Because in this camera, it look crazy. But look in the mirror, it's giving... Yeah, girl. It's giving... She did that. In the mirror. But yeah, I'm going to let this set. I'm about to do my little... Under eye. If I can't, I probably should wait until I get that off um i'm gonna go all over my face with this the sephora micro smooth <laughs>
You can't even say you can't. You like my voice? It's her, you all. I don't want to wear this purse, but I had to switch my boots. I don't know if this is giving. These ones or these ones. This purse. Now I gotta sit here and wait for the Ryan to come back and pick me up. Because like, why would you leave, bro? Why would you leave? It's 6.45, y'all. I'm making good time if you ask me. This is uh, Mommy Without the Kids. Y'all can't even see how good I got. I mean, like, I don't know. The face is beating. Yeah. I'm getting ready to head out. And I will see you guys whenever we get to the city. Moment like that, you <laughs> They wouldn't let them take their purses in. <laughs> My nigga taking one for the that one might be mine. That one right there. I'm not totally sure. Just because you name him Darren don't mean he belonged to Darren. But I don't care what this baby's name is. This baby is rice-skinned, but not light-skinned. That is a white child. That is Caucasian from the mountains of Caucasus. time last night I had such a good time first of all Cat Williams was funny as hell I mean I didn't expect nothing less but even the people that came out before him we only got to see Tommy Davis I think his name is it's on prime why she go come here like wow your bed is beautiful you know pink is her favorite color Beautiful. Her and her big word. Is it called shimmer and shine or is it called something else? Shimmer and shine. You better start meddling. <laughs> meddling is so funny. <laughs> Cause why she if I shit? But um he brought out Tommy Davis. Well by the time we got there, it was already like 9 45 or something like that. Tommy Davis, he was funny. Oh, and then um, the man from uh, Mr. Cooper, Miss, what was it called, Kicking It With Mr. Cooper or something like that. He was there, he had me crying, laughing. Like, it was such a good time, I, ha I had a ball. And then Cat Williams had me cracking up. I like him because he funny, but he make you think. Like, he starts talking about 
how the universe, how they don't, they only know that uh, the earth and the stars and the galaxies that we know of is only 5% of space. So what's the other 95%? Stuff like that, it's a funny, like he says it in a joking way, but that's something that you're going to leave there and be thinking about. Like, I never really thought about that. Then he was saying how um, in this generation that we live in right now, you can be whatever you want to be. And if you're dealing with like depression or anything, and y'all know I be having all types of thoughts. Nothing crazy, but just questioning and doubting myself sometimes. Typical fears when you're going after your dreams, you're going to deal with stuff like that. But he was basically saying like, we live in a generation where you can be whatever you want to be. Like anybody that's walking around here and ain't going after something. That's just what you want to do. He, it, it was really a good show. It was a great show. I had a ball. Like, them shoes that I had on last night, I feel like I got blisters on my feet. Like, we had to walk so far. It wasn't that far, but when you got on heels, I never took them off, though. Bad be called one-on-one, babes. I never took them off. I thugged it out, I wore them, I walked in them. I'm talking uphill, downhill, up steps. Like, <laughs> I was walking in them because I didn't have a choice and I wasn't going to take them off. It was raining and I didn't want my socks to get wet. So I didn't have a choice but to walk in them. So when I finally did get home and I was able to take them shoes off, I slept on the couch because I just, I was exhausted. I was exhausted from walking. My feet was on fire. My back hurt. I don't know if I'm starting to, cause I had a, two C-sections and you know you gotta get the spinal tap with that. The first time I got it with DJ, I never really noticed any type of side effects from it. And then this second time with Seven, I noticed my back, when I'm getting ready to come on my period, be on fire. Like, it's on fire right now, but I'm going to go take me some medicine. I'm ready for my son's game. It starts at 1 o'clock, which is in 20 minutes. I'm already together. I've been up moving around. I've been up since 7 o'clock. And after the game, I'm going to stop at the grocery store, and I need to grab a couple things. And then I'm deep cleaning this house because obviously a week, a week has passed, so there's clothes that need to be washed, and I just want to clean the rooms and just get everything situated so that way tomorrow i can just chill i don't really have to do much of anything if i don't want to because you know i don't have a car so i'm not really going nowhere to do nothing so yeah i'm gonna get ready for this game get them son good job bud Give me high five, boo. That pick six, boy. Pick six. Hey, y'all. Damn. See, that's why I like my car, because my car are a little bit ghetto. She don't really care if you got your seatbelt on or not. This car? <laughs> Excuse me. But the game is over. It was good. I showed y'all it was 31 to 6. My son had three touchdowns, y'all. Three touchdowns. He had a pick six. He did really good today. All the boys did good. It was a great game. And then there's this lady that be recording the game while it's going on. And they'll send you like your kids, um, I guess like highlights, the good plays that they had or whatever, they'll send them to you. So I be making him like uh, little highlight videos for his Instagram reels. He got his own little Instagram. Obviously I run it for him because he's only seven years old. But this is the one that I made last week. DJ's lifestyle, that's his Instagram. He's had it for a while and I be posting like his football and wrestling pictures on there. But I'm just now starting to get like back active on here for him. But this is the one from last week. Ooh. 
So I'm excited to edit his video for this upcoming week because he did so good. But um, the game, all of that is over. I told y'all I want to deep clean, but I think I'm going to put that into a separate video. Um, but I am getting ready to go inside of Aldi. I have a couple of things so that I can cook for today and tomorrow. And I'm going to clean this evening. And um, I'll probably do like a little grocery haul with y'all. And then I'm going to wrap this vlog over up and start the cleaning and stuff will be for tomorrow, which will be like a Sunday reset. But it's really happening on Saturday. But that's all right. That's between us. That's for us to know. <laughs> but yeah, let's go up here. Look at my boy. I be so proud of him, y'all. Like, I, even if he wasn't doing nothing but standing on the sideline, as long as he's doing something that he's happy with doing, I'm happy for him. And he did so good this morning before the game. Uh, we was practicing with his uh, touchdown dance was going to be. But I think before the game we do this every weekend we be practicing what his dance is gonna be whenever he make a touchdown he be thinking he gonna talk smack when he make tackles and stuff but once the game actually comes my baby is so humble like he don't do dance celebrations he talk a good game like yeah whenever i get it i'm gonna do the gritty once he make his touchdown, he throw the ball down and he go right back to he be locked in. And I just love that about him. Like, and that's with any sport. With wrestling, he have his little headphones on. He be in the zone, focused, and just ready to go. But, yes, I'm so proud of him. But, yeah, I'm going to run into this grocery store. I'm only grabbing a few things and probably just, probably just a few things. Like I said, for me to cook for today, I think I need rice. I need diced tomatoes, green peppers, or I might can get like them Rotel cans. I don't know. We'll see whenever we get in. Got too many hoes, but they ain't you. Like to put that shit in your nose, but I still love you. Be doing shit that nobody knows. In the streets they be thinking you're a lady for that home. All right, I'm back from the store. I really didn't get, it It ain't really much to show, but I did give me a lighter so I can light my candles after I'm done cleaning. Some chicken broth for the gumbo. Diced tomatoes. I ain't get nothing fancy, but they did have these in the clearance. These little uh, pumpkins. So I think in my, in my living room, I'm going to put these in the little, on the little ottoman where I have like the candles and the other white pumpkins. I'm gonna take those out and then I'm gonna put these in here after I'm done cleaning up. And then I got my rice. But yeah, I'm getting ready to get comfortable and start cleaning up this house, deep cleaning, room by room. <laughs> get it done now so i ain't gotta worry about it tomorrow tomorrow i'll probably still be doing laundry because i do still have like two loads of clothes that need to be washed i think yes two loads two loads need to be washed and one need to be folded so it's real easy to get behind on laundry like literally it's so many clothes it's four people that live in this house so we be having so many clothes and i swear sometimes i just want to throw it all away like, just throw it away and start over fresh. That's how I be feeling. But I'm getting ready to wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.